How you doing guys? Welcome back to the I Smoke channel and another cannabis inspired video with me, your host, Tyler Green. Today, I am at the other side, London. It is a cannabinoid dispensary on Portobello Road in the place where Lee Harris's head shop Alchemy used to be. And we are gonna take a look inside right now. Here we go. Tell me what takes you I like the lighting as well, man. Yeah, it's nice. Take me through some of these CBD products, man, because it's getting super interesting. What is this? This is wax coming from a company, Plant of Life. They're based out in Barcelona. Um, so this is like, you can vaporize it. I know people that actually just put it onto a cigarette and smoke yeah. it directly. Yeah. Um, I've even had people just Brilliant. eating it directly as well. Just put a little bit on their hand and just lick it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that kind of works as well. But ideally yeah. you want to like dab it and I'm gonna vaporize it. So this is this is basically made for the recreational and medicinal side of CBD dabbing. Um, obviously, we can't mention medicinal claims. So the recreational side of exactly, CBD yeah. dabbing. Comes full different spectrum. flavors as well. So they've had terps added to them. They're um, full spectrum. Yeah. So you do get the benefit of CBD. You get the benefit of the full spectrum. Um, and also terpenes added to them. Another thing that we like as well is these distillate carts from dispensary pens. Oh yeah, I've met those guys recently. So um, they're UK based, aren't they? UK based. Yeah. Um, the lovely thing about these is there's no PG, VG. There's no kind of, they're not e-liquids basically. Yeah. They're distillate mixed with terps. So you get a real nice flavor, a real nice effect. Um, and they come in a variety of flavors. Very, very simple. Just a little cartridge that you can just attach to any kind of typical battery. And yeah, that's a really, really nice product. We really like them, guys. Might as well be the same thing. It's difficult to tell that it's. And I tell you, a lot of people would use yeah, this, and they almost are like, "Whoa, I'm feeling like it's almost like they feel something, but it's almost like a placebo because it's, it's a, a it's flavor. a well-being of CBD, mate. It makes yeah. you feel good. It just, feel really nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I had a, I had a two gram CBD joint of just pure flour yesterday while I was working. I had the best day ever, mate. I was just sitting there like super productive. People always ask me, like, "What's the effect of the flour? How does it? How, how, uh, is it going to get me stoned?" I'm like, "It's not going to get you stoned. It's more." of a retrospective feeling mm. like you might use it and then at the end of the day you say geez that was a really nice relaxed day but in the moment you're not going to be like oh i'm so relaxed right yeah, now it just, it just helps it doesn't just... really affect it like that but yeah, yeah it's kind of i always put it as a kind of retrospective feeling i took someone on the way to work this morning you yeah. sit on the train you chill you're not really too worried about people like getting too close or any of this kind of like fidgety business like it's a much i just yeah it's a really really nice form of taking it i'm giving it to my dog actually i mean giving it to my dog as yeah, well yeah, pancho cause... gets a little couple of drops every few weeks yeah so, nice um I mean, he's not like he, he doesn't seem to like need it, but I know it just like calmed him down, down yeah, a little yeah. bit. It's just a relaxant, really, for him. But yeah, I mean, there are products out there for dogs. Yeah, man. I mean, I live on a boat, and when I do a move with the boat, the engine is like, like really noisy. Mm. It gets him a little bit nervous. So before I do a move on the boat, I give him a couple of drops as well. Oh, wicked! Stick a little yeah. drop on his pet on it on his treat. He loves it. Let's have a look at some more of this. Well, yeah, um, these guys creating better days. They're making uh, like little vegan gummies. Oh, I saw these on your Instagram, didn't yeah. I? These are making yeah. vegan gummies, they're really tasty. Um, very kind of natural vibe. They also do a, a watermelon, 50 milligrams infused watermelon lollipop. Mm -hmm. So nice and That's a good dose. dose, 50 milligrams. You don't really need more than that in a day. I mean, we recommend between 10 and 30 milligrams per dose, depending mm. the size of your body, depending on your constitution, depending on how you metabolize things, whether you're like, you've got high tolerance to things or not. So we recommend between 10 and 30. Yeah. Um, we produce our own brownie, which we put 25 milligrams of CBD per, per slice. Mm -hmm. So we think that's a decent enough like portion and decent enough uh, ratio. Um, but of course, everyone needs to have their own journey with CBD. Everyone um, has to discover what their own dose is. There's no kind of set dosage. We always try and say, keep it as low a dose as possible build your tolerance up mm. um, you don't want to knock out your tolerance levels and have to take yeah. something really strong straight away and it's not it's not the cheapest stuff is it it's so it's better stuff. to take like to take like 20 to 50 mils a day milligrams a day rather than a couple of hundred milligrams and then exactly uh, going through your stock. exactly this is a friend of ours who yeah. runs a shop in camden yeah ldn cbd they've got really nice products so if anyone's out there full near spectrum. camden full spectrum yeah, yeah man um, we do a three percent from them and we also do a thirty percent Oh wow. So we've got like the top end, the, the bottom end and the top end yeah, yeah, by, yeah. by them. And then the other oils that we do, our main ones are the Canaco oils. Yeah. So Canaco, we've got 
5%, 10% and 20%. This is where you need to be getting your CBD oil from a place where they actually know about CBD, not a high street store that doesn't have the info or can't talk about the info. And probably doesn't even use it. Be aware of uh, vape shops turning into CBD shops. That's mm. what I've been noticing. Lots of vape shops just turning into CBD shops now. Yeah. Yeah. Jumping on it. Gap in the market. And we do e-liquids in here. We do one e-liquid and that is this Aztec brand. Yeah. We've been getting good feedback from it. It's a full, full spectrum e-liquid. Um, so that's basically where someone's mixed it with, uh, where Aztec CBD have mixed it with PG or VG. Is that is, basically it? Is, yeah, to make an PG e and VG mix. Yeah. Um, it's a 50-50 mix. And then it's also got the, the full spectrum um, CBD oil and yeah. added to it as well. Which is, I mean, there's definitely a, a, a place in the market for that stuff. For I sure. mean, I, I, quit my, I quit tobacco using CBD liquid and that mm. weren't even full spectrum, that was the Harmony isolate. So I, I used stuff. to sell the Harmony stuff, mm. but um, we, we tended to go towards full spectrum products yeah. and then the isolate, I was a bit like, it's not that it's got no point to it, mm. but I'd rather give someone a product that's got a full spectrum mm -hmm. with terpenes added, so you get the whole entourage effect. Going back to the dispensary pens, yeah. that's like the next level up after the e-liquids with yeah. the distillate and the terpenes. The, the flavour on these is like ridiculous compared to the e-liquids. It is, isn't it? It's like actually, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like almost. Until like, you've tried both, you when you compare the both, yeah. when you compare the two, you'll see the, the difference. Yeah. Mention about these. It's another product, just to go back to this other brand, Ooh, this plant of life. CBD jelly hash, yeah? Yeah. Nice CBD. It's just like the sticky equivalent. Yeah. And then almost like the pollen. This is the awesome bit. I mean, CBD, hemp is cannabis. It's just different strains of it, isn't it, at the end of the day. And that's why you can make all these awesome products without the THC. So many products. I mean, yeah. I think a lot of this is made from um, dry sift from hemp. Yeah. And then they get the sift off it and push it together and add some terpenes into mm -hmm. it. Just looks like normal sort of pollen hash, yeah. doesn't it? Looks very, very similar. Yeah. And it's it smells the same. It does smell the same. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm not a hash guy. Since I went pure, I just I just don't really smoke hash because it's like I always mix it into spliffs before. Yeah, yeah you do. Um, and I've just missed out on sort of the hash side of the market. But it's always nice to sort of see what is out there. Every now and again, yeah, I like it. But as well, I'm not really into tobacco. Mm -hmm. I don't use that much tobacco. So yeah. with the, that kind of product, you need to use something to fill it in. Yeah. And yeah, it's just not my my Actually, cup of tea so much. Actually, really well with you know like uh, just an unoffensive flavoured CBD bud, one that don't taste of a lot. Here we've got the uh, the white white blondie brownie that we do. This is um, uh, white chocolate pistachio matcha um, and we actually use that uh, CBD crumble, full spectrum cr crumble. Yeah. So we do that in collaboration with Sia Sia Story. Uh, they, make bake, they, they, they make baked goods. Um, so we got them to produce that for us. We also do a chocolate one which is on its way now. It should be here like any minute. <laughs> and then these are um, chocolates from Hempress Rising. Um, organic, raw, vegan chocolate, no dairy in there. Um, they come in a variety of flavours. We're actually in talks about doing some other products together actually, so we're trying to do a little collaboration. Yeah, I like um, her products. She's got she's some good, nice stuff She makes going beautiful, on, yeah. beautiful products. This is kind of like all kind of cosmetic products. Nice. Again, another company. This is called, this is by Hempress. Yeah. So bath bombs, really beautiful bath bombs, all handmade. Um, These are CBD infused, are they? CBD infused, so they all have like essential oils infused, CBD as well. They can all be dropped into a bath straight away. Um, she also makes, that's her there, the yeah. Empress. She also makes really nice um, bath salts. Yeah. They're all infused as well. So that's got 100, yeah, what is it, 100, 100 milligrams. 100 milligrams of CBD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful for a bath. The skin's a massive or organ. Exactly, your skin, skin all that absorbs loads, loads of that. Grace's, another company from London, yeah. making really lovely products. This is like a little mini roll on. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So that's got CBD infused into it, lavender and lemon. It's customers buying it like, in regards to like, headache treatment. Um, so they do two strengths on the roll ons 250 milligrams or 100 milligrams. And they also do a little body bomb. Oh, this stuff's wicked, yeah. So like this is body bombs great well. if you've got some sort of, from anything from dry skin to hard dry like skin. Instantly when you yeah, use stuff like this. Like, so we've got like body butters. Yeah. So this guy's, these guys are from America, Privy Peach. They um, market products towards women, but anyone can use it, I guess. Yeah. This is a, a hemp body butter. Oh, nice. Um, they've also got like sugar scrubs. So if you've got some uh, exfoliating that needs doing, yeah. you can use this. They all contain, um, CBD, mm -hmm. of course. Leave-in conditioners, massage oils, all sorts of things these days. 
acne serum, yeah. anti-aging cream. Yeah, it's inflammation, CBD and inflammation. It's all about inflammation. Mm -hmm. These are a brand new company called Somnio. They're making really nice products. Yeah. Um, very kind of cosmetic based. Um, but yeah, check them up on their website. Yeah. What else have we got here? Nice. Got Just above them, you've got um, sort of these nice display cabinets. I like what you've done with them, wouldn't you? Yeah, I made them out of old cheese boxes. Did you? Yeah. Did you make homemade? Homemade. <laughs> DIY business, man. Yeah, man, this is sick. Look at this. Found the boxes. So you guys made all the lights. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Bought these out there on eBay. Yeah. The old Bank of England money cages. Oh, sick. Yeah. <laughs> Every head shop. It's got to have a vape and glass cabinet. You guys know I love my glass. We would love to have a bigger selection, but we haven't yeah. got that much space in the shop. So we just keep it minimal. Uh -huh. honest, um, we get regular customers that come in and buy little bongs. Um, glass doesn't seem to be so popular around this area. Mm -hmm. It's so a niche within a niche, I think, within like, in the industry, mate. Literally, literally. Like, I think it's like people that just see things that are going on in America, they're like, oh, I want to I buy some, I want to try some glass in the UK. Yeah. I don't, really, I don't really know that many people that use glass, apart from yourself, for sure, we always see you using it. Yeah. But yeah, we do have like regulars that come in and buy stuff. Um, we've got a few dabbers around the area, so they, they're always coming to buy a few of the bits of the bottom. Yeah, like these bangers actually, very reasonably priced bangers. Yeah. What you need, especially as I break about six of them a year. <laughs> exactly. exactly. These are little mini bubblers, actually um, got them from dispensary pens. Yeah. So that you can put in a little blunt or a nice, a nice joint and yes, yeah, smoke straight. Yeah, it's, real, it's lovely, yeah. it's really nice. Bong bowls, go yeah, for man. a load of these. Always, <laughs> always, always, always handy. We always have to restock them. Yeah. And we've got the vaporizers up here as well. Oh, the grinders first. We've got the, oh, you've got the Santa Cruz range? Yeah, we've got the Santa Cruz range. Nice, man. They're all good quality. I've not actually used one, are they? Do you use one? I, I use both of them, to be honest. Yeah. I use one of the, the hemp the hemp biodegradable ones. Yeah. Nice one. I, hemp, I use one of the hemp biodegradable ones at the back mm -hmm. as I kind of carry around. And then at home I've got a, a nice metal one. Proper one. And they fluff up the, the flowers really nice. Yeah. Like really They're designed to like do it in a certain way, aren't they? They're really nice, man. <laughs> I mean, I was selling like that like cheaper grinders before, but I kind of geared away from them. Like yeah. we've got a tiny range at the back of like cheaper ones. Yeah. But to be honest. I'd rather sell someone something good quality and not have to see them again. Yeah. They can buy one and then they have to come back. Moving up, we've got a few vapes. We've got the Pax. Um, so we kind of got, the Pax is like a stalwart. Mm -hmm. Been there for, since I opened. Um, the unit's really good, works really well. I use the Pax too myself. Yeah. Um, and in the center here, we've got the Storm and the Sapphire, which basically the same unit, but one's a bit cheaper, one's a little bit more expensive. One, you can replace the battery. One, you can set your temperatures to exact temperatures. And then on the, on the right here, we've got the silos. Yeah. Love these units, perfect little unit. Like this guy is, you can fit a cartridge in it. Um, you can fill up your cartridge with e-liquid if you want. Um, very, very good unit. I, I probably recharge mine once a month. Comes with a little adapter so it can be dropped in and out with a little magnet. Mm. Really, really oh, comfortable. Oh, really? Comfortable oh, yeah, unit. that's handy, yeah. I've got mine in my bag. I'm yeah, that's sweet. Up. Nice, all right, and then moving on, let's have a look at, oh yeah, we did Down here we've got yeah. Da Vinci's. Nice, we've covered this, the micro. The micro is really nice. The discreetness is like so portable, you can just hide mm -hmm. it in your hand, it's like tiny. The flavor you get off it is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like really, really good unit for flour. Mm -hmm. um, also, you can uh, change your, it's got a Bluetooth function, so you can have an app with it. Um, very good, very good unit. They used to do an IQ before that, which is a little bit bigger, which yeah. I used to use as well. Yeah. So I can vouch for it. Then the Puffco Peak, the Carter, Anyone knows about that? Yeah, extract yeah. units. Nice. A couple more units there guys, yeah. check them out. All of this is on Portobello Road in London guys, that's why I've come down today, it's awesome to actually see this in the real world, not just online. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good to have you man, Yeah, thanks, finally. Man. <laughs> and then yeah, we've got the traditional, oh we've got the revelry bags. Yeah. Revelry bags, these are carbon lined, smell proof, um, really good quality man, like nice finish, like travel bag kind of thing. But you can see the kind of finish inside, extra pockets, these, we can vouch for them, trust me. We've got a lot of people using them. Um, Rolling smell proof people, carbon exactly. line bags are the way forwards. And they come with a little wallet as well. Same yeah. kind of thing. Ooh. But yeah, these are perfect to put inside your rucksack. Yeah. Carrying what you need to carry. It's kind of an understatement still. <laughs> I mean, I would not travel anywhere without a carbon line bag these days. I'm actually, I roll about with about three. Yeah. With like one inside, bag one in inside, a bag one. In a bag. Yeah, like you only need one, but it's just like back you never up. Know. You never you know never how many know. weed samples I'm going home with. We've got some other kind of new, um, like odor management kind oh, of yeah. smell things. This is a coco coconut and mango flavor. So this isn't a deodorant, this is it's for not, the room. You could try it as a deodorant, <laughs> but it might, um, might irritate your armpits. Yeah. I've smelt that one before. Orange That's good. Yeah, orange the orange really. 
like quite a bit of citrus flavour. Yeah. As is the neutraliser I've spotted up there. Yeah, that man. is the one, the pro kit I've used that personally. Yeah. We, we use that ourselves in it. Yeah. Obviously a few incense, classic. Nice. Um, got a bit of Palo Santo in the place if you need to uh, take away any bad spirits. Oh yeah. wow. Um, that you can just burn it like an incense yeah. and then the smoke that it releases like really good smell on it yeah. and of course some uh, THTC THTC we nice. all know about them guys they did our I smoke t-shirts actually they make, they make lovely products these are their new range aren't they just brand new range socks, yeah? I, I really want to stock all their t-shirts but we just haven't got space in there so nice oh these do, feel good guys these feel lovely you you t-shirt there, there. Yeah. I need to give you one of these mate nice what colour do you prefer black or white uh, I'll take a white one mate actually yeah, yeah. Medium, please. Got the resident dog as well. Resident security guard. Thanks. Nice. Say hello. <laughs> oh, hello, mate. Everyone that watches the channel knows I'm an absolute animal lover. Yeah. That's my little boy, man. I've had him since he was a three week old. Nice. Like I wouldn't be with my dog. I wouldn't be able to just leave me off up the street. Would he? Yeah, that's the thing. He's been in there since he was young, so he knows the he knows the poo. Yeah. Can we pet your dog? Of course. <laughs> I'm missing my dog so much. We're behind the scenes right now at the other side in London. Thanks for having us down, Geshi. No worries, man. How have you found this one? Before I go, I just want to ask some sort of questions. Go on. How have you found running a head shop in London City, mate? Loving it, mate. Yeah. Loving it, loving it. Um, like the response and feedback from the customers is always amazing, and just the kind of people that we get in the shop, like really nice to talk to, really nice to like get their stories, get their experiences, and also just like nice to sell products that people want. Like the CBD obviously is blowing up, everyone's on the CBD at the moment, nice to be able to help our people. As well we get like really good feedback from the locals, we've been here for a long time, we've been here two and a half years but my family's run a business in the area for like nearly 30 years so we know a lot of people. Can't ask for more man. Yeah man, it's great to see, you can really see that sort of coming down and seeing that um, the proof is in that you're, you're a consumer of the product, you, yeah, know, you know what you're talking about when it comes to CBD. I've been using CBD for a long long time, yeah. I've also been using THC for a long time. But um, yeah, not yeah. supposed to talk about that. <laughs> when I go to buy a product in a shop, I want to know that the person probably uses the product or has experience with it or isn't like some kind of computer says no, mm. da -da -da, I sell it and I'm a robot. No, I'm not into that. Keeping it friendly, keeping it family based, keeping it less corporate if possible. Yeah. So trying to veer away from corporate brands as well trying to keep it as independent as possible. And we noticed that it doesn't look like any other head shop that we visited. And that is worth a visit alone, guys, um, is that most head shops you go into these days, they do have a kind of similar feel. You see the same products on the shelves. I've seen like 20 plus new ranges of stuff that, that I hadn't seen before, including the whole edibles side, which is awesome. And it's changed a lot since we last visited with, uh, with Lee Harris when it was still alchemy. Big up to Lee in that. Yeah, they, he, he retired two and a half years ago and was giving up the space. So my family's run part of this shop, the other side of the shop basically. Mm -hmm. There's like a tattoo on one side, tattoo and piercing on one side. And I used to work on that side. Um, so when, I, when Lee gave up his side of the shop, I jumped in this side and I called it the other side because nice. I was like <laughs> used to working on the other side of the shop. So that's why we named it other side. And then from there we progressed into other side cannabinoid dispensary. But yeah, big up Lee, he done a lot of work here. He had a lot of locals as well. He created a community. Um, like this, is, he was one of the oldest head shops in London, I think. Mm. We kind of and modernized it, yeah. updated it. Um, yeah. We've changed a lot of the products. We're not selling so many, so many products to do with like smoking. Mm. Uh, we've kind of like gone a little bit towards, towards wellness. But yeah, we had to modernize it. Things needed, needed a little bit of an update. But yeah, big up to him. Like he did, I did obviously have a few clients from him before. Yeah, they still yeah. come. They come and buy their gauzes for their pipes. Oh, nice. Um, that kind of thing. Yeah. We still do sell a few big pipes here Lee. and there. He's still repping at all the events. I still see him out all the time. Which I is saw cute. him up at the, I didn't see him, but I saw him on Instagram at the Cambridge little little fair the other day. Yeah, they so, did. Oh yeah, I was at Borefest at the time. They did have a big old thing in Cambridge last yeah. week. Big up to Grace's, I saw her up there as well. Yeah. But, um, nice. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's nice to carry on in the same vein, but modernise it a little bit and um, yeah. update the whole place. We'll just see that um, our brownies have just arrived. Oh, let's <laughs> have a look at these. So we've got some CBD brownies here. Oh man, they look delicious. These are our full spectrum brownies. They contain yeah. 25 milligrams um, pure um, crumble per slice, actually. So that's, yes, full spectrum. You're getting the benefit of the entourage effect as well, guys. They, um, that's got... Um, Figs and dates in it as well. Mm -hmm. They've been soaked in an Earl Grey tea, so you get a real nice flavour. 
proper art than that is. Exactly. <laughs> did also the decks aren't lost on me. I noticed the decks. Are, do you ever have sort of parties in here? We or is do it have just parties. We do little events. Yeah. Generally, Saturday afternoons, like we're having a little mix down. Saturday afternoon, this place is packed out, full of tourists. So we're having a little mix. We've done quite a few events in here, like DJs coming in. We are planning to be doing a little thing every month, a little reggae thing actually, um, which is going to be starting in August. So that's going to be a once a month affair. So if you keep an eye on our story on our Instagram, Other Side London, um, hashtag Other Side London, we'll update that and as soon as we have any events, so you'll see it on, on, on the story. Right now it's kind of early. Um, yeah. It's only like <laughs> just, just past midday, so I'm gonna probably have a little lunch. <laughs> So out some orders, so out some products, and then I'll probably have a little mix later then on. Get the tunes on. But nice. yeah, man, that is um, definitely, definitely in use. Great to see you, mate. Thanks for speaking to us today. No worries. Check Thank out you for the coming other side. down, man. Appreciate it. All the work you do as well. Appreciate that, man. Nice. Check out the other side, London people. Portobello Road. Stepping on a roller coaster, going down, but I never felt this high. Biggest ride of the century